How's it going guys? It's Kyler the How-To Guy123 here and today I'm going to show you how to set your default browser in Windows 11. So if you've just upgraded to Windows 11, your default browser is going to be set to Microsoft Edge. Even if on Windows 10 your previous browser was something like Chrome, it's always going to be set to Microsoft Edge. And Windows 11 doesn't really make it easy or at least obvious on how to set your default browser. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video here. So we're going to want to begin. So I'm going to be setting Chrome as my default browser. And when I open it, it just says Chrome. Google Chrome isn't your default browser. So I can click set as default and that's going to bring you to our default apps in the settings. And this is where we want to be. However, if you want to access this outside your browser, you can just go to the start menu here and search default apps and you can click default apps here. And that's going to bring you to the default apps page in the settings. And now we're just going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to find the browser you want to make default. So in my case, Google Chrome. So I'm going to find Google Chrome here and I'm going to click on it. So now you'll see a whole load of file extensions that can be opened in Google Chrome. And we're going to want to scroll down to where it says HTTPS. And you're going to want to switch this from Microsoft Edge to your default browser. So like I said, in this case, it's going to be Google Chrome. And you're also just going to want to make sure that uh, when you switch HTTPS to Google Chrome, it also sets HTTP to Google Chrome as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it to setting your default browser in Windows 11. So now if I close out of our settings here and I head back to Chrome, you can see that our default browser warning has disappeared. I can even just reopen Chrome to demonstrate this. You can see it's not asking us to set Chrome as our default browser. And just to further demonstrate this, I have this YouTube shortcut on my desktop. So whenever I open it, it's going to open up in Chrome and not in Microsoft Edge. So you can pretty much click off the video here, but I want to show you guys one quick bonus tip. Uh, let's say you want to search for something in your uh, start menu. So let's come here and let's search for cats, for example. And we want to open these search results in our internet browser. It's still going to open up in Microsoft Edge. So if we want to get around this, we can use a program called Edge Deflector. And basically what this program does is anytime Windows 11 wants to open something in Microsoft Edge, it's going to be redirected to your default browser. So I'll leave a link to download this program in the description below. So once you're on this page, come over here to the latest version and download Edge Deflector underscore install .exe. And you can save it wherever you would like on your computer. I'm going to save it on my desktop for easy access. And once it's done downloading, we can go ahead and open up the installer and then click on install and it's pretty quick to install. Uh, we can now exit out of Edge if it opens up and we can delete the installer if you'd like. Uh, now we can come back to our default apps. So we're, we're gonna want to open up the start menu here and search default apps, uh, just like we did before. And uh, now we're gonna want to scroll down and we're gonna want to find Edge Deflector. Go ahead and click on it. And here where it says Microsoft Edge, go ahead and click on it and click on Edge Deflector. So now if we want to search for something in our start menu, Let's try cats again. You can see that it has opened up in Chrome. Uh, the same goes for widgets. So if I want to open the weather here, you can see that it opens up in Chrome and not Microsoft Edge. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.